throughout the uh, dome as he's brought it up, or is this something that increases as the dome increases? No, he's been doing it for all the uh, all the rings of the dome. It's been a, the same process the whole way up. And he's taking great care to make sure each brick is set tight. Now, he shapes each brick too. What's he doing there? He shapes it on the lower inside edge. To define the ring? Yes.
Mom. Is she a good worker? Yeah. Work hard? Yeah, you are, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't seen it on TV. He doesn't know what's going on here. So it's going to have to start tipping real fast. It's going to get hairy. Just the suction. Mañana? This can, uh, it's sound also. It's for Hassan. I'd like to know uh, how you make this mortar. Okay. For every place it's going to be individual. But this we used three sifted dirt, three shovels of sifted dirt, one and a half of straight clay, one of sand, and one heaping shovel of cut up straw. And if you want you can put Stabilizer. No, I don't think that that's necessary. Uh huh. What kind of mud do they want now? The main yeah. thing is that it's good and sticky, and yet it'll spread very easily. Uh huh. So it'll stick to your. It won't fall off your hand. Is the test? Now, would you say that uh, you said this changed from pit to pit? Oh, yes. You have to make it individual. You don't want too much fire, it'll crack. So, you would say that uh, each mix that somebody would have to make, depending upon where it was in the country, would be different then? Depending on their locale. It's the consistency that makes a difference. Uh -huh. okay. okay. You need to let it sit at least a day, preferably two or three. The longer it sits, the better it gets. Why is that? Because the, the clay and everything will absorb the water and it will get much smoother and spread easier. 
Does it get stickier or just smoother? It gets stickier and smoother. Uh huh. So, the fermentation of the hay in there to keep it warm becomes stickier. Uh huh. But just to let it sit, it, you know, it um, becomes more homogenous. So when you say it gets better after it ferments, what does that mean? It's stickier, it gets smoother, easier to put on. It does stay in place. And it won't. When the straw ferments, does that add anything as far as stabilization is concerned or anything like that? I would imagine it would, but I don't know. Uh huh. The way they do it in Nubia, so I would imagine that it helps it a good deal. Uh huh. Now what was that mix again? It was uh, three sifted dirt, one and a half straight clay, one sand, one heaping egg or straw, mm -hmm. chopped up. And you say that changes from pit to pit and site to site? Uh, your dirt will because maybe you have uh, clay in your dirt. Uh -huh. So how do you tell when your mix has achieved its proper consistency? Proper consistency? Yes. You mean you couldn't stir it this morning? I couldn't stir it this morning because I didn't put enough water in last night. Uh huh.
Simon, I read the scenario you have uh, suggested. I like it. And we shall try. Now I am trying to arrange everything in my mind to carry out the best way to suit 
the landscape and the site. So, but now I, I am. I thought I have brought here some drawings and renderings that were exhibited in Vienna to be exhibit, to, to be showed here. And this is how the, 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 the working drawings, the architectural working drawings, look like for our colleagues, the architects down here. And then what kind of architecture we have got out of this technique in Egypt, if you would like, to be following, not to go away. And please, because I want your, your help and your assistance, and if you follow what we are saying, because to complete the thing. Would you kindly sit down now here? I first have to tell Mr. Sauri. What? I first have to talk to Mr. Sauri about uh, Shauki, about the hotel for the Masons. Never mind now this. You are talking to whom? Mr. Shauki. Yes. No, leave Shauki, please. This is, we have to finish this, and this is more important. Shauki, we can't talk to you any moment. About the reservation in New York? Yes, the reservation, we are not going to do it right now. I, I need half an hour. You, you do as you like. I, I cannot. I, I must have oh, um, I the thing. The, uh, we, we, this, would, we, would you kindly come here? Hi there. Leave Shauki with the Masons, and he doesn't even know what to do with the Masons. You tell me when. Shall we start? Okay. Well, you know. Um, we are here after showing what we can get out of this adobe, and not only the adobe, but adobe and the vaulting, and a ro the vaulted roofing, I mean using the vault and dome and arch in, in covering in ro for the roofing of our houses. And this naturally has been, as we said, it was limited to very rest I mean, restricted areas in Iran and in Egypt, I mean to say in Nubia. So, if you wanted to introduce this down here, we have to show the technique is being showed out of the, in the construction of the building. But here I wanted to, to show the working drawings, how they look like on paper. And we know how they will look like on our example here. And I would show you how they would look like in, in Egypt, because certainly here, you have another, I mean to say, the environment, the major factor in environment is climate, and it is cold and heat. But in Egypt, there's only heat. So this certainly will come out automatically by when you will handle it and you will try to make it to fit in. However, now we ask from the constructional point of view, the, from, from the design point of view, I wanted to put stress on one point which is very important, is that the, the, the house design and in, in the Arab house design, the room ha has um, a specific I mean, um, articulation. You have a middle part which is almost like a crash hole. They don't like to put furniture and uh, things in the, in, in the in when you enter a room, you would like to have a, a free part of like, like um, I mean to say, this would like, uh, as we said, um, I mean to say, um, what did we say? Unobstructed space. Um, yes. Um, so, and of this, you would have the sitting areas. You sit over, as I mean to say, they have um, an alcove. This is the crush hole and an alcove for sitting. In the Arab house, you have the crush hole, it's called Dorka, the middle part and it rises higher, they articulate the space, and they have the iwans, what they call iwans, which are recesses of this iwan, the middle part of the, of the room, so that you can be sitting away and, and I mean, from the circulation. And with the, the wardrobes are put in. This is a bedroom, a design of a bedroom, with the design concept of what you call car. And this would be the middle part door car, as it is written down here. And this is the iwan. So I thought for the present bedroom, I mean to say bedroom, to have the Durka is the crash hole, as we said, and the, the alcove to be used for the bed to be tucked away from circulation, not like in these hotels when you the, the bed is put in the middle of the room, taking all the space and we knock our knees every time we move around. It will be tucked away and it will be away from the draft as well. I mean, the, the, if this is uh, uh, the door and the window and another window, you have to have cross ventilation. 
so the bed would be tucked away from the, uh, from the, I mean, the reserved from the trap. So this is an arrangement which suited the car principle, design concept, suited the bedroom, to the prison bedroom. Because this Darkan Khan, as I told you, were, were, these were used for the palaces. But they, can, they are used also, there is no difference in Islamic architecture, in Arab architecture, between the palace and the humble house. You have the Durkan, only this is in mud brick, and the other in, ma, in stone and marble, and so on. So here now, this structurally or architecturally, how the working drawing would look like for one room. But now, how would it fit in into when we come to the house? So there are an infinitude of combinations between the, the, these bedrooms, I mean to say, if you have them two on one line, and the Durkan, the, bed, the, the wardrobes, and the Iwans for the bedding, here you have a two and one here, and this is like a sort of a porch here, and you come in, so you see, and this is two in LL shape, and here you have a combination. Um, um, I mean to say, this is better, this is uh, to start with, we have three. You come into like a lobby here, and you have a bedroom here, with the, the, the bedroom bed is here, and the, the uh, wardrobe is there, and another bedroom here with the wardrobe and the alcove for the bed, and another room out here. Naturally, for your design and for your, your in, in your designs, you will be taking care more of the climate, and you would like to have the sun and the, the uh, passive, you call it passive energy. Passive <coughs> And this is only, this is architectural now, I am explaining, and then we shall come to the passive energy. This is for Egypt. We don't have this problem, as you don't, do have it here, to have, I um, mean, very hot weather in the, uh, during the daytime, and very cold, I um, mean, 20 degrees centigrade below zero but night, by night, this we don't have. So this would be suitable, and you can arrange your rooms according to the circulation, and this and that, and climate too, but not as acutely as you do have it out here. This is another arrangement, and you have here um, a durka, and having three beds, let us say it is for a family with uh, three kids, or, um, um, I mean to say, they would like to have three beds for the boys, and that would be um, a room for the parents here, and another is for the girls, etc. So we can arrange according to the family size and we arrange this can suit any arrangement now i would like to show you the kind of architecture i mean to say not the elevations and and the, but the the renderings of some um, um i mean to say examples that we have had uh, would you allow me to um i have had a piece And if you ha can hang on this. Is it horizontal? Is it okay? This wasn't a peasant house, it was a rest house for my friends, I mean, um, a rich fellow. And on, behind was the river, and this is how it might have to suit the site. But this is the form that you have. There is a Sassanid dome, a vault, like we are having out here in the mosque. And this was also a vault here, all it is in adobe, and the entrance. So this is what came out. Um, for Egypt to suit the, si the, the, the climate and the, the landscape. But here we shall have, when we, we show the landscape, and we have to fit in our architecture into the landscape. It will be a different landscape and different climate, so the architecture, we are hoping to produce a new architecture which is different from the Egyptian and different from the modern architecture, because in here in America and in Europe, architecture came out from the classic. They are derivatives of the classic. From the Greek to the Roman to the Renaissance, etc., etc., and you have the orders and so on, and the cornice, the door, uh, the balcony. But um, I mean to say uh, here, um, in, in Egypt, we didn't have that. 
it has been introduced only some hundred or 150 years because I mean it, they were this was imposed by the Khedive by the, the, the but um, I mean to say before that we have had an architecture which was similar to that in Nubia and, 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 and we have showed the slides I wish if you have had the slides down here I mean to say our, our, our projector to have shown the slides and show you what kind of architecture the Nubians produced however this has nothing to do with the classic and like I hope I mean, we are going to see the Indian architecture too, which has nothing to do with the class. It had grown out of the, the, the Mother Earth from out here, a man re, I mean, reacting with his environment. So this is the architect architecture when he stepped into the field of this, I mean to say, um, fitting in architecture and respecting the techniques and the materials, the adobe and the vaulting, etc. This is what we have done and as to be compared, which it, it should be different from the architecture that you have, what the Nubians have done by themselves, or out here, what the Indians have done by themselves. We have to re introduce now the technique and knowledge and modern science, what contribution. But modern science and modern technology should never wipe out the cultural aspect like we are doing in all the rest of the world. The, the modern technique is simply wiping out all the human reference from our buildings and our buildings become mechanical almost like machines and are like test tubes and putting many test tubes and I think the best example for this in, in, when we have in, uh, in uh, Beaubourg in, Fra in Paris where you put men, they put men in test tubes and move them about as if you are shaking chemicals or I don't know what and the human reference is, is excluded completely and, and I would like to show you something which has something similar to what you are uh, doing out here or what we can do out here. Could, would you kindly see to hanging this? Yes, a little down please, a little down, that's it. This was a project for Fayum. This is um, I mean, uh, almost a large oasis in Egypt, and they wanted to have a touristic um, uh, area for, I mean, having a hotel and, and models, I mean, of houses. These were not mot motels, they were villas for people, rich people, to come and live, and they were designed for this purpose. But I am showing them to show the different um, kinds of, I mean, combinations that, and the different kinds of style that can be produced uh, using this technique again, um, I mean to say again, and this is the, the map of the Lake Karun. I put it and with the, the fauna, the, the, the flora of the region, the cacti and the uh, palm trees, and to show if they match. So this, the important money, the important thing about what I'm going to show now with the next, um, I mean to say, um, uh, showings, I mean renderings, is that this is facing away from the lake and you arrive and you come and enter into this facade this is almost closed but when you come to the lake you have to open it and like you have it here if you are coming from the north you have to close shut your uh, facade and when you come to the south you open your facade so we shall see how these um, little considerations affect the style thank you i think we can show the other one Um, what is the, uh, the other ones, please? Thank you. This was one with the, with the facade opening to the... Um, I think we can hold it, no need to... to stay. This is showing, I mean, opening towards, away from the lake. The lake is behind. And now, when we shall see facing the lake, here they would be facing the sun because for the heat. Um, you see, this is the one you have seen behind right now, and it is open with loggias, this and that. Certainly, I mean, because it's open towards the lake. The lake is down here now with the, and and these we have the loggias, etc. So this is how we can make to fit in our architecture to the environment 
with regard to the landscape, with regard to heat, I mean to say to the sun rays and to the orientation climate and so on. So this architecture, as we were, I was saying, I would like to hint out, um, I mean, put the stress on a point. The vault and the dome are structural elements like the beam, like the wall, like anything. They have no, they, they are, I mean, they have nothing to do with the style of architecture, but uh, they affect the style of architecture. So we can make them to fit in the hot climate as they can fit in the cold climate like the wall. Why should the beam, um, I mean to say, um, fitting in cold climate and not fitting in, in hot climate? The beam can be used in any climate. The arch could be used in any climate and any environment and the, the, the what do you call it, the vault and the dome could be used in any climate and any environment. So this is because um, if the structure even they can suit, as we have showed yesterday, that if you have the vault, it's the barrel vault, this, um, I mean, um, um, I mean, they built with no centering, which has to be built against an end wall. And the end wall, the other side of the wall, the, 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 the vault would be open completely. It can stand with no, no nothing, so that you can... Sorry. No, this we have showed. No, this is another. Um, I think that that would be all right and I would like to show you this one here because this is important this is in Gurna you have it in the book you have it everywhere but still I would like to say something about it um, We have used the same technique and the same design concept to, for a whole village. This, this here, for instance, you have a marketplace, and this was a workshop. I meant to say a, 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 a training um, center for weaving, and we have here the mosque and the theater, an open air theater, and you see, and this was the school here using the same concept of the Durka the Iwan, the, and the Iwans to solve the problem of a limitation. You have a dome here and you have alcoves and you have solved, we have solved the problem by the applying the same thing. Here is an important I mean, uh, example because we have the, 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 what do you call it, the, the, um, 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 the what do you call the, 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 the meeting room. The Conference room. Uh, come on, the, the meeting room, the auditorium. hall, the, the, like the auditorium, an assembly hall for the school. And it had to be large and to, to contain, because if the class were to have 30 or 40 boys, this would have to have more, 100, let us say. So it was subdivided by arches here and domes here. So that way, we have a, a, a great variety of combinations. You can solve the problem by combinations between vault, dome, and arch, and so on. Like we have uh, com I mean, uh, made a combination between the vault and dome to roof the bedroom. And these are the houses. As, uh, I mean, some sort of design for houses. Um, this is the, the, the top floor, and this is the, the ground floor. You come in here. We have made it so that you have the entrance for pedestrians one side and the cattle and cars from another side. So, so as not to have the, the mix up the cattle and the, because uh, articulating the street, the space. Um, I would like to have the street, everybody, I mean not I, but if, 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 if all, all of us, we would like to have the street to the human scale and to have aesthetic, um, I mean musicality I see even because um, the image when you pass, you go on the, on the street. What you have seen, what is what you have left behind, comes in. It is still in your memory, and you have harmonics. What you see after, and when you come on one one, um, I mean to say, one direction, then you turn. You have the, the 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 effect and the memory of the past. And if the what comes suits and is har in harmony what we have passed, and we have you know, turned your back to. The man would be, it would be a, something of a civilization towards mankind and civility. 
to respect man and not I say that every every harsh hard line in the street which a man can see is an insult to every gentleman passing in front this is is it is despising man and you are nothing I mean this is your worth mister and every beautiful I mean thing that we have to put in the street it is like bowing to everybody passing like when you dance the minuetto and then you you are bowing and respecting this is civility my dear friends and this is what we have to un to reintroduce into our cities if you go in the old cities like venice like i don't know verona like these towns and 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 even the egypt i mean the, the old Cairo, etc etc if you come to pass on the old Cairo, you will have one of these uh, compliments every 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 yard you pass but when you come to the modern city, we are scrammed first of all by the cars and the, the, the modern, what we call modern, which is I mean, anachronistic, uh, modern architecture, so to speak, and it is hurting. And that's why I say that the eye, um, there is a defect in the eye because it's ought to come out of the body. I mean, when you see um, something ugly, like when we, with the hearing, which hurts one and you, you jump but the eye when even gets used to, to, to the ugliness. However, this um, I, I, I wanted to simply to, to show for this model of, of a house, we have had here, um, the, 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 this was the entrance. Here we have se separate entrances. This is for the cows, for the cattle, but this was the entrance and you have a guest room for the men and the, the bedrooms, etc., the loggia here and the courtyard, etc., etc. So we can find out means and ways of designing and, 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 and building, satisfying all the needs and customs of the people. So this was, and how it would look like the silhouette in the, against the landscape. I wish if before building any building, we have a painter to paint the landscape and then the art comes and put his design and see if it would fit in, if it spoil or it will I mean, to say fit in. In China, they have the laws of the landscape, the Feng Shui, the canons of architecture. If man doesn't respect these canons, he is punished either by God or by man. And they found that they have been, um, I mean, murdering um, um, some um, missionaries in remote villages in China. And when they investigated into the matter, they, it wasn't for any religious or spiritual reasons, I mean to say for the religion, but it was because they built the churches with the wrong pitch of the, of the, of the roof and covered it with corrugated iron, which was jarring against the landscape. And he called this is a sin against God because it is not respective of, of the God environment. And as you know, why? The, in Chinese arch architecture, like you have this kind of ga I mean, gable roof, which resembles the the hat also the, that they wear on their heads. It's a, there are, it is it's almost like, as if I mean to say, certain lines are fitting come out from the subconscious of the community. It is like when one goes to the psychiatrist and he anal I mean, I mean, makes him analysis, psych psychological analysis, he makes him to scribble down on paper. And he analyzes his, 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 what is his, um, his mind, his, psych, his psychic. So this also in, sit in, in communities, why do they choose these lines? Why all the Chinese houses are having certain curves, certain... This is something which is intrinsic in man, it is, it, it is in us. I say this is the archetype that we have in ourselves. And, and this is what you have to respect, the archetype. And not to come, and because I may, now we have the magazines and the, the, the I mean, books, etc., etc., that we can um, um, imitate something that doesn't suit the landscape. And I hope that we are building this building now with an idea that as it is built out of the, the adobe of the earth, and the form is, in, I mean to say, have been influenced by the form, by the material. And the vaulting too is being resultant from the forces with no intent or attitude. We didn't want to make anything, um, I mean, stylish, or or it is what the form is imposed by the forces. So I hope that it will fit in the landscape, and you will not to have to decapitate me when this thing is built. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> so I wanted just to to show this before we went to 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 Tao. to Tao. And I hope that our friend, um, I mean, um, um, will will uh, join us.
and would we do what you have suggested in your uh, memorandum as to for the scenario, the arrangement of the scenario, my dear um, uh, Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do it myself then. They put the, the, the template. It is larger. We have to have um, use it still because we are not the masons can be can be freehand, but we don't want that. We want to show our friends out here how they have to do to build. I mean to say a vault. They have to use the template because they they, they cannot draw the curve. It took the mission three years to, to, to know how to design, to, to, to draw the curve. So we put still, if it were to be larger by seven centimeters, but you will have a guide. And then you can scrape out seven centimeters from the what you have done and, and to show that it is going, because if it were to be, um, I mean to say, sagging or here and there, it would, it would not be um, correct. Uh, would you kindly tell the gentleman here uh, to give to, to get out uh, because I would like him to um, to show the picture here. I said before, uh, where is my friend Owen? Best place to take it out with. Okay. Yeah, if we get Bob here, Bill, Bill, to me. I'm in your way. Don't knock Muhammad off. All right. You ready? Is there someone down there? He already made up for the. Now you know which where to cut it. Yeah, he marked one side, but both sides. Yeah, I know both sides are, but he already made up for it. Hello, Dean. Checked it out. Worked. So, basically, slide it back your way, sir. My name is Steve. Steve, I, I think the best thing to do is slide all the way back and lay it down one corner at a time. Yeah, on the board. Yeah.